Hi, Judy from Witch Peacecraft. Welcome to Free Pattern Friday in April. Once a month, I share some free patterns with you that I have researched. So, what are we going to be looking at this April? Well, I have three crocheted patterns for you and three knitted patterns because, of course, I enjoy both crafts. So, let's get started. First off the ranks will be the three crocheted patterns. For those who have been with me for a while, you know that I am taking part in Amigurumi Wars um, hosted by YOH Crochet Anita. Now this week, this month's feature designer that Anita has a video on, and there'll be a link to it, has free patterns. So if you're into Amigurumi, make sure you go and check out her featured designer video. And this month's host is Jan, the Alaskan crafter, and make sure you check her channel out. Because next month, I'll be hosting Amigurumi Wars. So, our first pattern, of course, is an Amigurumi. And it is called the Balloon Dog by Gloria B. And here he is. Ta-da! you see that on my iPad? Now, I do believe someone may have made him in the last couple of months in Amigurumi Wars. But I think he's really cute and I really like him. Apparently... He can stand on his own. So if I make it, that'll be a challenge for me. It's made in um, 10 ply, worsted weight or Aran yarn. And it's supposed to be fairly easy for a beginner. So that's our first crochet pattern. I have to check my notes. Next is one I really like. And it is called the Flower Valley Shawl by Sis Homemade. Now I've printed this off because I probably am considering making it. Look at that. Is that not beautiful? Just, oh. It's got a list of different um, yarns you can use. One of them is Shpetsky's Whirl. And I did a yarn substitute. And guess what? My Hobie Twister is ideal for this. It's a 90% match. And I was thinking, would that look good in my Rainbow Hobie Twister yarn? It seems quite a detailed pattern. It might be a bit beyond my skills. It comes with pattern notes and charts to, and tells you how to work the chart um, in case you don't know. So I'm sort of eyeing that pattern off. So this one is called the Flower Valley Shawl by Sis Homemade. And that was our second crochet pattern. Our third, third crochet pattern, I have to get back to my um, iPad so I can get back into library. I like this because it sort of appeals to my hippie side. It's, um, it is called the Rainbow Boho Hexagon Throw Cushion. You make hexagons. Look at that. Now, I reckon you could do those hexagons in scrap yarn and then have a main colour to put around it. And I think that's a really great scrap yarn project and would appeal to most hippies, boho people who like a bit of colour in their life. It is made with DK 8-ply 3-weight yarn. And, yeah, I reckon I could do that in scrap yarns. But that is our second crochet pattern. Our third pattern is... Oh, that was our third. Sorry. That was our third crochet pattern. So we're moving on to knitting. I'm just a bit vague today. So the next one is called the Knitted Patchwork Recipe by Maureen Ellis. Now, crochets, we do a lot of squares, blankets, and all sorts of things like that. But... You know, often you don't see anything um, knitted like that. But this is a knitted. Oh, happens to me all the time. Goes full screen all of a sudden. There we go. Don't move it too much. Knitted squares in scraps. I reckon that would be awesome. If you're a knitter and you want to do a lap gown and you have lots of scraps, that is a great free pattern for you. I may consider it because I have saved it in my library. Now the next one is 
I'm going to bring up, I have got a printed page on it. I did save this quite a while ago. And um, it is a Ukraine designer. I've just got to find it in my library because it's got a better picture in my library than it does on the front of the pattern. And I can't show you the inside of the pattern because you will see the pattern notes. My library is getting to be too big and too full, I think. Where's it gone? It was in here. We will find it soon. There it is. So. It is the Vintage Vibe Lace Knitted Beret. That's the picture on the front of the pattern. It doesn't really do it justice. It's in a lightweight, like a, a fingering or four-weight yarn. And can you see that? There you go. Look at the back of that beret. If you like a nice spring hat, that's ideal. I think that's pretty good. Now it's a Ukraine designer, but it is a free pattern. And I keep saying one day I'll make it and you never know. I may get around to it, but I do really like it. I do know some people who made it and it looks really great. So that is our second knitted pattern. Now it wouldn't be Witch Peace Craft without me talking about a tea cozy at least once a month. And I did find a tea cozy for those people who keep asking me for another easy knitted tea cozy. This is Frankie's Knitted Stuff, Twisted Tea Cozy. Now it is for the intermediate to advanced knitter because there is cable work in it. But if you are a beginner and want to challenge, this is ideal for you. It's, it's not overly detailed, but it, because teapots come in different sizes, it does give you small, medium and large measurements and the circumference of the teapot. And it's made in... Um, this one's particularly made in Star or Craft Special DK, but any DK, any eight ply or three weight yarn should be doing, be able to do it. Now that's the picture of it, the twisted knitted tea cozy. I think that looks awesome. You could get really inventive with your yarn colours for that if you're an, an intermediate to advanced knitted, and I quite like that. I think it's a pretty good basic tea cozy for those that want to have a go. So guys, that's my three crochet patterns and three knitted patterns for April. I hope you find something to inspire you and you make some of them. If you do, please post pictures on Instagram with the hashtag free pattern Friday AU so I can find you. And if you don't want to put, I don't do social media, but you'd like me to see your project, please email me a picture. You can also give me permission to post it on social media. I'd really like to see if some of these free patterns are being made. I am currently knitting one of them that I've shown in the past. It's quite an involved pattern, but when it's finished, I will sh um, show it to you. And then um, I'll show you the free pattern that I took it from. I've got a couple of others on the go too. Because the free patterns is about me finding something to do and not always having to pay for a pattern. So until next time, stay safe, stay well, and make sure you have a crafty day. Bye for now.